up guys? Today we are going to finally see this house that we're working on. I'm so freaking excited. century-old tiny Acadian renovation project. Let's go in and check it out. So this is the plan. We are going to take out that wall and this kitchen gets pushed back. And this bathroom becomes the new kitchen. Um, we're looking for a view here. Was, uh, the shed is not very pretty. Um, but eventually the view will be of the ocean while you're doing your dishes. So this is gonna be the new kitchen, like I said. And we're gonna toss the bathroom over on this side. This is gonna be our new bathroom. Um, as for this closet here, this is gonna be taken out and we are gonna put a exterior door so that we have access to the backyard from here. Excellent! I also have to figure out how to move this trap door it's probably where the vanity is going, the bathroom vanity. So it's got to get out of here. It's in our way. Awesome. So as for the upstairs, what are we doing? Um, I don't think we're switching any walls up here. I think we're just doing all the cosmetic facing, all the skin of the house. 
Yeah. We were contemplating shifting this wall all the way over to the stair rail just to make this room a little bit bigger because they are quite small. I, be, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but this is about, what is it, like six feet? Six feet wide? It's not very wide. Um, what is with the flies here? There are so many flies. Okay, let's check out the other bedroom. Again, not much going on up here with the bedrooms. Guys, what is with all the dead flies? Um, I'm kind of wondering if there's like a dead body buried in the basement or something. This is it's kind of creepy. There was a desire to make these rooms bigger on the homeowner's part. So I'm wondering now if we might be taking out this closet and this built-in desk. Mm. Will that benefit to us space-wise? I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We'll take a look. Yeah, so mostly cosmetic stuff up here. Thank God we got enough work to do on this place as it is. So all of this ugly ceiling tile comes out. We gotta re-insulate. Apparently there's bare minimum up there, like an R8 insulation, and we go on to bump it up to a 40 or a 50, I think. I can't remember what the plan was there. But yeah, we got some work to do. Lots of work. As much as I would love to include Things like a new railing and banister. Um, budget's tight on this one. So, I mean, those things can always be done later. Look how charming the staircase is, by the way. I cannot wait to get my sander on that thing. As for our walls, currently they are all this uh, crappy old wood 70s paneling and behind there uh, we've got I don't know if that's mold or no it just looks old um, we've got our regular crappy insulation there um, so we're gonna be probably replacing that I noticed there was no vapor barrier fun really fun fun. <laughs> we opened it up a little bit and to my surprise the floor joists up here are going the opposite way I expected. I expected them to be going this way. Uh, I thought that because there is a wall at this end of the house going front to back. This wall here goes all the way from one end to the other end of the house and I just I expected the floor joists to be sitting on top of there. But I was wrong -o. They are actually going this way, which means this wall right here is probably load-bearing. It's holding up those floor joists. So we got to take that out. And unfortunately for me, <sighs> it means a little extra work. Um, means we're going to have to put a beam going from this wall all the way over to this wall and we're gonna have to put footings down all the way down into the basement so that that load can be properly supported fun stuff you guys well, we're just assessing the beam situation here and here we have a 12 foot span and it is carrying a lot of weight it's not only carrying our second story floor but it's also carrying our roof so we need to beef up our beam here. So another thing we want to take into consideration is the height of our floor joists because when we stick our beam in there, we want to make sure that it's not protruding out the bottom, which in our case, it's going to be, so. So these joists are not your typical dimensions. These are just shy of five inches tall. Uh, I think we're going to go with a nine and a half inch tall beam, which means if we bury this in our ceiling, we'll probably have uh, four and a half inches sticking out a little bit, which means that we're also going to have a decorative faux wood beam in our future. 
We also have a substantial amount of slope in this floor, slanting down this way and this way. And you can really feel it when you're walking. I'm trying to think of what's causing this. Now we know the floor joists are running parallel to the wall. So I'm wondering if our load bearing wall that these joists are connected to is failing in some way. And I don't want to hear one stinking comment about my stupid craftsman level unless y'all are willing to buy me something better. Okay? Okay? Oh, jeez. <sighs> Guys, how much work do I want to put into this? How much? We can definitely tell where the main support structure is down the center of the house, and it is right here. And the reason we can tell is because... Yep. That is a big hump in that floor. The question is, do we want to fix that? That is opening another can of worms completely. That's uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. We would have to add a bunch of footings in the basement, jack up the structure, and... Oh, man. I don't know, guys. I don't know. How much do we want to put into this? I mean, my thoughts are, as long as the structural integrity is kept, um, the house is old and, I mean, crooked floors are kind of expected. Well, let's go see what we're dealing with down there. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Okay, okay, so not the most conventional construction methods used. Um, it looks like this main central support log is carrying the brunt of the weight. All the joists run perpendicular to it and hang off of it. It goes almost the full distance of the house. It stops here and splits into a T, at which point the joists switch uh, direction. So I'm guessing that was an addition. Um, I'm just looking at how that is all supported. Uh, that looks like there's a lot of weight on these two two by fours, which is not sufficient. I mean, wow, look at how smushed those those pieces of wood are. Oh my goodness, guys, this is bad. This is really bad. Like, I don't even feel safe standing under this. And the footer is a cinder block. That is a little crooked. That, uh... Yeah, that's not straight. <clears throat> okay, okay, I'm seeing some rot here. Oh my gosh, the more I look, the worse it gets. Okay, what do we got going on with these um, new installments here? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm not liking this, guys. It doesn't even reach the full span. It's pieced in. Basically, three screws are holding the weight of these joists and whatever it's supporting. This rot is so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is not good. This is really not good, you guys. Good luck, me! <laughs> 